Warning. This podcast is about the horror genre, specifically horror films. As most horror movies are filled with coarse language, violence, and or gore, the topics and language of the cast of the pod will also reflect the genre. If you have any issues with the aforementioned warnings, please press stop. But... If you have no issue with adult language, movie violence, or the accoutrement that accompanies horror films, please feel free to continue. You have been warned. You have been warned. You have been warned. Hey, Josh and Deb here. And um, I don't know if this is going to end up being a cast of the pod short, or if it's going to be a full cast of the pod. Deb, what do you think? Maybe a short. You need to talk up a little bit more. Oh, maybe a short. Okay, there Is you go. Is that better? Yeah, kind of, mm-hmm. sort of. Um, okay. But um, we just went and saw the prequel. Oh, Josh and Deb for the cast of the pod. It's just us two today. Just the two of us. Just you can find the two of us. you can find us on all so- social media at cast of, of the, the pod. pod. All right. So today we went and saw the prequel of the 20, this is the 2020 prequel for the 20, uh, this is the 2022 2022 prequel for the movie that came out in 2022. (laughs) This is like a couple months, right? Yeah, a few months ago we did a pod for the movie X. And now we're doing, a few months later, the pod for the prequel Pearl. Pearl. So you have been warned, you know there's spoilers. Yeah. So if you've seen X or if you've heard the podcast, Cast of the Pod, talking about X, then you know that the character, the old lady in X, her name was Pearl. This is her story, mm-hmm. portrayed by the same actress, Mia Goth. Goth. Yep. And um, it's an A24 movie, which means it's pretty dark pretty twisted and um movie was directed by and written by ty Ty west West. stars david corn sweat mia goth emma perkins puro 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 and where's the description of this backstory on how pearl became the person she was and then the storyline, this is coming off of IMDb. Trapped in her family's isolated farm, per- Pearl must tend to her alien father under the bitter and overbearing watch of her devout mother. Lusting for a glamorous life, she's... Oh, gl- l- I can't even read this. Lusting for a glamorous life like th- that she's seen in movies, Pearl finds her ambitions, temptations, and repressions all colliding in the origin story for... X's iconic villain. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so, I, Deb and I agreed not to talk about this. Like when the movie ended, we're like, we're not going to talk about it. Nope. Now, we kind of did not beca- about the movie, but we found out some other stuff about it. About it, because um, one of the pre- people that worked there, there that she was like, "What do you think about the movie?" And we were like, uh, when <laughs> we, you know, um, I'll tell you right now, I'm going to have to see this movie again. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I hate it. Deb. I'm going to have to agree with you about having to see this movie again. Cause right now, if I were to never watch it again, right this moment. I would say that I do not like it. Okay. But then. But then. After talking to the employee. I'm like. I might have to give it another chance. Just to see. Maybe if my if if I change my mind. I, I seriously doubt it. I seriously doubt it. But. This mo- this movie is so slow. Yeah. Now, when we did the review of X, it was like an hour and something before the first kill. And I don't know how far it was in this movie. 
for the first kill. But here's the thing. I'll just say it right now. If the movie ends up being in my memory a good thing, or if it, if Pearl ends up being a bad thing, at least it's something different. Yes, that that I do agree. It was different. I'm. It, it, it gave me something to think about, and you know we're still contemplating if we like the movie or not. Because you you've heard y'all have heard Deb and I where it's like that movie is horrible, and Deb's like ah the movie's great, or the other way around, or whatever. And I, I don't know what this movie was supposed to be other than a prequel. I don't know how I was supposed to accept this movie or, or I don't know if I miss something. I mean, I didn't fall asleep, so it's not, and I didn't take a restroom break, (laughs) but I feel like I missed a part of the movie that maybe I just didn't get and it's very unsettling there there's there's scenes in the movie you have been warned there's scenes in the movie that are kind of creepy like she's talking to the animals in the barn and she kills a swan and that was like eh so they're just showing that she's she's disturbed yeah so no big deal but then the scenes when she's bathing in front of her father, who's is um, who had the Spanish flu, and I, I don't know the proper word to say. He's confined to a wheelchair, and I don't know if mentally he's in there or not. I think he is because there was that. Are you talking about the alligator scene? Well, that, and then there was other parts where. Like, cause he would, he was watching her and then like towards the end, like he got scared and he, and you know, like he, he was like so that breathing was, fast. That was very unsettling seeing the scene of, of, and see, here's the thing though. She's a grown ass woman in this movie. She's not a child. As I thought it was. I thought she was a, a like child. a teenager like, yeah. or something. That is just but the she's... actress looks older and whatever. Yeah. No, but she's married in the movie, and her husband's out to war. And she went to. She went home to help her mom take care of her dad. And I mean, she's already lived a life outside of this. And I'm looking at the trailer right now. The trailer just gives away everything. It does, but the trailer but makes it, it look so much better. Like. I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, it's it, it's I, I don't even know if I want to say it's worth for other, other people. I mean, if you liked X, you have to see it. Yeah. And I, would you watch them in order? Like if you watch Pearl first, would that make you want to watch X? I wouldn't think so. Mm, no. You'd have to watch X first. Yeah. That way you care about the character or something like that. Or, you know. But, man. this it, the Like I said, the movie's disturbing. The scene where she's feeding her dad it, it is really disturbing. Um, when she goes and buys morphine over the counter like they used to back in the day. And then she sneaks into the theater and she's, she's chugging on the morphine. Oh, yeah. It just, I, I don't know. And then on the way home with the scarecrow, that was kind of weird. Yeah, uh, she 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 finds a scarecrow in the middle of a like, field and she starts humping it. Starts dancing with it, then she humps it. Yeah. And I'm like, um. And it, <laughs> I mean, the movie is, we had to look up on IMDb to see if it was a horror movie and not just a thriller. But it's very... It's, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's nothing like X. Mm-mm. Deb, what do you have to say about it? This is going to be a very short podcast because I really don't, I I don't like the movie. And I, I don't want to watch it again. But after finding out what we did. So what uh, we found out is because there's an extra scene there's there's a post credit scene not not mid credit not pre credit post credit scene all the way at the very end 
and um, you need to see it because it brings up the next movie in the X trilogy. That I didn't even know that was going to be. And it happens in the 80s. Mm -hmm. So, like, after finding that out, after seeing that and then talking to the employee, right? I'm like, well, I don't know. I Now I'm, now I'm confused. Like, <laughs> now should I go back and maybe see if... There were some parts that I did like, and then there was like the majority some, of it. Some some parts didn't. just drug on and on and on. But I mean, it it added to being uneasy. It made it like, uncomfortable. I like the beginning, the way they filmed it and everything. Every was... every shot is beautiful. I'll tell you that right now. Despite what you may or may not think of the movie. The, the shots are different. Like there was, there's a wide shot. She chases somebody out of the house with an ax and it's a wide shot. It's far. And you're seeing her chase this person. And are we not giving that away or not giving spoilers? Well, I mean, she's just chasing a girl. If you haven't seen the movie, you're not going to know who it is or anything like that, but she's, she's chasing her sister-in-law and, but it, who, whoever did the cinematography for it or whatever you call it, the visual I don't know, I, I liked that, all that, all that was great, the editing was great it's just the story the acting of Mia Goff, she looks like someone who has some mental issues, Yeah. and that's what Pearl, Pearl is she, she has mental issues I, I did like when she was sitting at the table with the sister-in-law and she was like, there's just, I have some secrets. I don't feel good. Um, it's not, it's not the Spanish flu thing. It's not the germs. Um, it's just, I, she was just like saying she doesn't feel, she doesn't feel like herself and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. The sister-in-law was like, you know, we're sister-in-laws, you know. Just pre pretend I'm Howard. The she's like, I've never even told him. And she's like, but you're married to him. You're, you're supposed to be able to tell him anything. So she starts pretending to to be her brother. And Pearl starts she, pretending to She to lets loose him, of yeah, everything. Of everything that she's done. And, like, it just goes. Like, you never see the sister-in-law. It's just her talking. And I love the way that was filmed. I love I love that whole scene, the how she just lets out. And why are there so many jets flying so low? I don't know. Since we got home, right? We yeah, we're not even near anyways. Um, so like that whole part was and then like she snapped out of it and then she's like, You're not gonna tell, are you? <laughs> and, and then she didn't have any faith that she wouldn't tell and she kills her. Yeah. But I mean, I don't, I'm going to see the movie again. I know you don't want to see it, Deb, but I'm going to end up seeing it again. And is there any nudity in the movie? No, right? Mm, no. Oh, well, you know what? There's a little bit of nudity when they when, go into the theater. And they, they're watching that movie. Uh, they're watching a, a 1920s stag film. Yeah. And um, I, I, I looked it up on IMDb, and that's an actual film from the 20s. Wow. Yeah. Because even when she's in the bathtub, I mean, you see her legs, but you don't see anything else. Right. So, I mean, it's just, it's rated R for violence. There's tons of violence. Um, the end of the movie gets super gory. Yeah. And then Howard comes in. And then the end. Now, at the end of the movie, they do a long shot of her with her eyes open and she's not blinking and she's smiling and apparently they did it in one take and the plan was to just film it for a little bit and then take the creepiest looking still frame out of it but then at the last minute the director was like let's just see how long you can hold it <laughs> and she actually starts crying well, I don't know if it's like girl crying but she starts crying like tears are coming down both her eyes and she's like making her smile even wider like it's it's funny and creepy all at the same time and it worked great yeah it just goes back to show how, how unnerving the, the the word i'm gonna go away with the word of today uh oh 
unnerving. <laughs> but yeah, um, Pearl, the 2022 film from A24. I, 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 <laughs> I'm like speechless with this movie. The stuff I don't. I don't think I've ever been speechless. Like my, if I not like the movie. There's like so much. I'm like, I don't like the movie. I don't like the movie. I don't like the movie. And I can tell you like every part that I don't like in this movie. I'm just like, I don't know. So I give it two ratings for the stuff I didn't like out of a 10. I give this movie a three. And for the stuff that I did like, I give it an eight, eight and a half. I don't know if that makes any sense, but the movie, I, I, I've got to see it again. Deb, you? I only do one rating. And what is it? Because it's a two. A two? And I've never given a movie a two? lower than five. Wow. I just, I don't know this. I didn't like it. I didn't like the movie. I, I don't know as I yawn. It was a long movie. It and was. It's late right now and that we're recording this. But shit. I mean, I'm with you. I like the way it was filmed. I like all of that. But I, it's not enough for me to give it a, at least a five. Okay. Okay. I can respect that. So I think that's all we have for today for this cast of the pod short. Do you agree? I agree. And then we'll do another podcast when part three comes out out. spoiler alert it's maxine spelled with three x's see what they did there the third movie and hopefully hopefully that one is better and it'll because i can't remember what i gave x but it was up there and i really liked x so i'm hoping that part three will do that much better and it'll bring it right back up to Whatever I gave X. There you go. All right. So until next time, I'm Josh. And I'm Dip. Don't forget, hit us up on all our social media at Cast of the Pod. That's right. And you can also get merch. There's on go to the Facebook page or go to castofthepod.com. And you can get the merch there. You can get the merch there. You can also call the hotline. As I'm looking for the page, it's <laughs> stalling for time. So like, you, if call you, call the hotline, and leave this, a message. When you hear this podcast and you've already seen Pearl or you're going to go see Pearl. Call us. Call us. Let us know. Let us know what you think. Let, let me know that I'm full of shit and you like the movie. Oh, you're full of shit. <laughs> the phone number is... Area code 786-763-2278. That's 786-763-2278. If you want to leave a voice message or if you want to slide into those DMs, it's at cast of the pod. All right. Let us know what you think of the movie. So until next time, I'm Josh. And I'm Dip. And today we reviewed the movie Pearl. Pearl.